Hello everyone, this is David, and today we'll be going over how to transition from Google Chrome to Firefox as your primary browser. We'll be covering a variety of things. We'll be focusing on how to basically make Firefox as Chrome-like as possible from a user experience perspective, some good add-ons and extensions that I recommend, and then just some little other little tweaks that you might find helpful. So the first one is obviously you're going to want to import all your stuff from Chrome, unless you want to start fresh, that's also an option, uh, but that's fairly easy to do, so I won't really be covering that. Um, and then obviously, once you import your bookmarks, if at all, you'll want to enable the bookmarks toolbar. This is just super helpful. Creating folders to organize your bookmarks like this is extremely helpful. So anyway, you can figure that part on your own too, but just uh, throw a reminder about that in here. I'd also definitely create a Firefox account if you can. This will sync all your passwords, your, your data, uh, things of that nature, which I think is really easy to use, especially if you use Firefox mobile. They come in very handy, one and the same. The next one is the add-ons that I recommend. So uh, we'll be touching on three today. Well, actually, technically four, I believe. The first one and most important one I would recommend is uBlock Origin. On Google Chrome, they will be phasing out any kind of ad block extensions, which is a real shame. Uh, so they should still be working in Firefox. And the one I recommend is uBlock Origin. Uh, so that's that. And then uh, while we're on that topic, actually, um, Dark Reader is a phenomenal add-on for Firefox that basically makes, makes pages dark themed. And with both uBlock Origin and Dark Reader, if you have problems on the page, um, you can always toggle them off. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here's Go the Google homepage with Dark Reader enabled. So if you're just to click the Dark Reader icon and click this, you can either turn it all off or all on or do it on a page website by website basis. So this will toggle the whole domain name google.com. And let's be honest, this looks way better. So I'm going to leave this on. But for some websites where the dark theme might be fighting with an existing dark theme, sometimes you're just better off turning it off. For example, Twitch is a good example where you just want to turn off uh, the dark theme on Dark Reader because Twitch, of course, has its own dark theme that can be used. And then also remember, if you want to turn off uBlock Origin for any reason, you can toggle it off right here, and it will be turned off for this domain name if you need to in the future and are ever having problems. So with that, let's go to the rest of the add-ons I recommend. The other big one I recommend is LastPass. It's a great password manager. Once you have all your passwords imported over, I would install this immediately and then make an account. And as you sign into things, it'll prompt you and have you add to your account. So, and this is like platform agnostic. You can get this on your phone. You can get this on any, pretty much any browser and any device. Very, very helpful to store all your passwords in one place. And this is, I wouldn't consider necessary, but I would consider very important. The next one would, and final one would be something called Firefox multi-account containers. This is really cool. If you ever have to sign in to multiple different accounts on the same website, but you don't want to open a in private browser or incognito window or anything like that, uh, you can just create a new multi-account container tab, which is really, really handy. So I'll show you an example here. You can pick a container and I am now in this container. I gave it this color. So if I visit Twitch, instead of signing into my normal account, I'll be already logged in as my bot account. So pretty handy, pretty handy stuff. And then uh, the next thing I would, I'd like to talk about is uh, just to briefly touch on the theme. You can pick from a variety of things, but I recommend the dark theme for Firefox, which will pair nicely with, of course, Dark Reader. And then next, we'll focus on a few more little tweaks that'll make it feel a bit more like Chrome. So by default, Firefox has these flexible space containers, which visually make it look a little odd, in my opinion. You can just, if you right-click this and go to Customize, you can actually just drag these out and get rid of them, which I prefer. You can also store things you don't really need. You can drag them from here to here or wherever you'd like. So these are the, the assortment that I have had, but feel free to customize this to your liking. It kind of cleans up the user interface and makes it look a bit better for your liking. Uh, the last thing that I would talk about is going to advanced preferences, which is about colon config and searching for tab min width. And I think the default's like 76 or something. And if you change this value to five, You'll find that you can open a lot more tabs than you could before without having to scroll. And this retains the Chrome behavior. This is very similar to Chrome. But you'll see eventually, if you open enough tabs, you're going to have this drop down and they're going to scroll like this. And I don't, I don't really like this behavior very much. So you can minimize this by making the number incredibly small 
and that way it has a not a very high chance of happening. Uh, so that those are the big things that I wanted to cover. And hopefully it was somewhat helpful to you. I, I mostly made this for my friends so that I could direct them to this video when they want to transition from Chrome to Firefox. But I hope you found it helpful too. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.